Hello, I'm Cheryl Austin. Welcome to Venture Lab Entrepreneurial Learning, lesson number two. In lesson one, we talked about what is an entrepreneur. Do you remember the definition that we gave? Copy and paste this link below from Kid President into an internet search engine as he talks about what it takes to be an inventor. And an inventor is also an entrepreneur. In lesson one, we also review the entrepreneurial mindsets and skills. I want you to think about these mindsets and skills with every lesson. And each day, really, think about how you're using them. Entrepreneurship is not something you do at a certain time. It's how you live your life every single day. Am I being curious? Am I doing, doing something to grow myself every day? Am I acting in a courageous manner? Am I being persistent? Do I see the opportunities or do I just see problems? If I fail, do I embrace that and learn from it? Am I being optimistic? Am I being resourceful? Do I show empathy for people? And was I adaptable today? Something that I want you to do from this day on is keep an idea journal. An idea journal is just a notebook where you can collect any thoughts you might have related to your entrepreneur idea, any ideas you have, any pictures, you can draw pictures or you can cut pictures out of books or magazines, any questions that you have or questions that you want to answer, put it all in that idea journal. Keep it close by to jot down ideas as they come and decorate it however you like. Entrepreneurs often come up with new ideas to help others. Remember, they empathize with others, they see a problem, and they come up with solutions to that problem. So today, you're going to help someone very special named Heather. Heather wants to be an entrepreneur so badly, but the problem is she's so tiny she can't see around the room. Do you see my picture of Heather there? Should being small stop her from becoming an entrepreneur? Let's help Heather by building her a perch or a place to rest that's tall enough so that she can see around the room. This perch should be something new and unique that no one has ever seen before. If you don't have materials at home to make your design, it's okay to draw it. If you're doing this with friends, work together to make a plan, design it, and talk through why your perch might work. Then look it over and see if you can make any changes or improvements. I hope you enjoyed that activity and that you were able to help Heather. She had a problem, but she also presented us with an opportunity because she might not be the only person with that problem. In the video that you watched earlier, Kid President said the world is full of problems, but there's also a lot of problem solvers just like you. So in this next activity, this is called Superheroes. This is an activity that you can do with the group or you can do it by yourself. To start, you choose a silly problem like I can't get toothpaste out of the tube. Then you have each person, if you're doing it as a group, choose a household object like a shoe or a toothpick as an example. The first person is going to act out the scene with the problem. Oh no, I can't get the toothpaste out because my hands are oily from building a car engine. And they're going to call on the superhero to solve it. The superhero's strength has to do with whatever household object they chose. If they chose a shoe, then they might be called Super Shoe Boy. If they chose a toothpick, they might be called Toothpick Girl. To the rescue. Think about how could your superhero solve the problem. For example, Super Shoe Boy might stomp on the tube to get the toothpaste out. Toothpick Girl might poke a hole in the tube to get it out. If you can't get the whole group involved, Try writing a funny story or script about silly superheroes solving a problem instead. 
All of these lessons come from VentureLab.org. Again, my name is Cheryl Austin, Extension Agent in Family and Community Health with Prairie View A&M University Cooperative Extension Program. And you can find me below at the different websites, YouTube and Facebook.